on, come on. There we go. You got this, kid. This is the one, no doubt. You are. Cop Clown. You may not have figured this out yet, Manetti, but I ain't no clown. I'm a cop. I'm an undercover cop. I know we've been partners for years. And you may not have figured it out because of my disguise. But I had to do it. I had to do it for those underprivileged white kids. Beep. Ma, I said I would be down in a bit after I rehearsed. Uh, hey, Paul. Gwen. Oh, hey, baby, how's it going? Please do not call me that. What's the matter? I was wondering if I could stop by and pick up a few of my things. What? Why? Paul, we already went over this a million times. Yeah, but I didn't think you were serious about that. I told you it was going to take some time before I break in. Tomorrow I got this audition, my agent says that I'm a shoo-in. I highly doubt that. So what, now you think I'm a loser too now or something? Well? Oh, come on, baby. Just wait a little longer. Everything will get better, I promise. You don't have to go. Paul, we don't even live together anymore. Oh, so nice to see that your phone still works. Come on, right now is a good time. You get off that phone right now and come downstairs with me to set up. Hold on a second, please. Paul, oh. Mr. Fredericks and his lovely family will be here very soon. Paul. Oh. And I'm not going to be embarrassed by my son. I mean, look at you. It's 4.30 and you're dressed oh, like a just bum. Get back to me when you can. And look at this room. <sighs> Looks like you moved in yesterday. Ma, will you please give me some privacy, please? There's five minutes. As long as you are living in my house, you will do what I say when I say it. Hey, baby. Baby, I'm gonna call you back in a second, okay? Hey, babe. What's wrong? She left me. Oh. Thank goodness, what a relief. That poor girl staying with you as long as she did. What, I'm a great guy. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? You're 40 years old and you're living with your mother. I'm 35 and I'm just here to clear my head. Yeah, whatever you say. I can leave whenever I want. Good. How about Monday? 
Tomorrow I got that audition, and after I book it, I'll be out of your hair. Let's face it, Paul. You've tried for years. And, and, and what have you done? What, what, one used car commercial? I got a few residuals for that. If you were any good, would you be living here with me? I don't know, Ma. These days just take some time. I can't deal with this anymore. You have wasted your whole life chasing this dream. As soon as you get a job, a real job, I want you out of my house. It's a miracle she stayed with you as long as she did. Idiots. Stupid idiots. Those kids were right about you. You are a loser. Goddamn right. Hey, Ma, I'm not gonna quit. You can suck it. Hello? Gwyn, hey, let me talk for a second without you interrupting, okay? I know I live with my mom, and I know I'm 35, but I ain't no loser, all right? I'm gonna go in tomorrow, and I'm gonna book that role, and I'm gonna make it big, okay? And you're gonna go ahead, and you're gonna see me on TV, and I'm gonna be this huge star, all right? So you can go ahead, and you can leave me all you want, just so you know that, just so you know that, this is the moment. This is the moment.